everybody this is my my grow room i uh, just want to show you what i found in my grow room this morning that's why i always gotta be watching and for those of you that are new the difference between a male and a female plant this has been growing in my tent caught it last night because i flipped the flyer so they're all growing and see all these little balls see those clusters there's one on this one there's another cluster of them so that's what a male plant looks like this morning I go with my tent and I find another one these are all from Joe's seed company and this one you can't see as well but they're starting see them right there it'd be a matter of a couple days they'll be showing so I pulled them. Now you can tell the difference if you're just looking at the plant. Uh, I'm going to take a shot. You can see how this looks like here when you're looking down at it. This is the flower site, basically what you'd call a flower site for the male. On the females, it's nice and round. It's got a round middle and then it's rounded out. On the male plants, they go straight up like this there's nothing there's no flower there there's just this little bitty flower but it's the it's the male part and what'll happen is that's just gonna make balls and that's what it's, and then it'll just start making balls all the way down this long shaft and that's when you get this I took these and I saved a bunch of them so I can crossbreed but that's what's gonna turn into so there's the male plant they've all opened up already uh, I've got the pollen in a, sat in a bag in there. So these are what the males look like. Now I'm going to shut off and go inside and we're going to look at the females. Now I'm back in my tent. Here's another suspicious one. You see how skinny it is? It's starting to throw a little couple hairs here. But I believe it's going to turn out to be a male. Now the females look down at them see how they're rounded they're well rounded they have a center then the leaves fan out whereas if you look at this it's just sticking up and it has a couple fan leaves and that's it see the difference there's a the female and there's the male there's a big difference in the way you look at them I don't know what it looks like on camera but you can tell uh, so that's probably going to be a male. And I got another one. I think I think that's it. I think this is the last one. And again, it's from Joe's Seed Company. I ended up planting, I think, four of his. I think all four of them come up. Going to be males now. So there's a difference between male and female. One way to check. Look for them balls. But this is the early sign. You can see hairs. And you look right at the junction, right here. And I believe there's going to be balls starting. So I'll keep an eye on this one. Not 100% sure, but I'm 88.8% .8 sure. How about that? So how? Here's how the garden's going. They're almost all up to the first scrog net so it's uh been like four days i've had them in flower they're starting to stretch i could water them down good um i was had to go two days without watering them because my ph meter broke and i ordered me a a, vi a new one. It's not Vival Sun. I forgot the name brand of it off the top of my head, but it's nice. Came in a kit. It's a a Peria. A Peria. Comes with a little box. There it is. Really nice. Calibrated easy. Uh, much nicer than the, the cheap $12 Bible Sun I had. Although that little cheap Bible Sun. Worked great. Can't complain about it. 
but the electrode broke on it. And these are the girls I'm watching day to day. These are my autos. Now this is in the FC 3000 tent. That's the new light that I just got from Morris Hydro. So as soon as I get these out of here and get them cured, or get the curing process started, I'm going to fill this back up with autos that are in my other tent. But I'm watching these. i got to check them again today. They're getting close. I'd say within the next three days or so, they ought to be ready to go. Then I'll do a video on cutting them and hanging them and how I dry them, why I dry them like I do. I dry them with a humidifier. So we'll get into that later. So anyway, I just want to go over male and female uh, from a distance here right in front. See the female. Now look at this one. Physically different just looking at it, you can tell. That's just one way. Then as soon as they get the balls, you have a sh shaft shooting up straight like this. Nothing much on it. And the next thing you know, right at the juncture of the leaf stem, you'll see a little hair with a ball. And then the balls will just keep on coming. So keep a close eye for them. When you see them, get them out of your tent. So I'll keep a close eye on this one. Uh, but I believe it's going to be a male. All right, that's all for today. This is Mike from My Scroll Room. You guys have a great day. Please like, share, subscribe. Give me a comment. Uh, had a winner yesterday. Congratulations. Uh, can't remember his name right now, but I sent the light off this morning. And Morris Hydro has the information. They'll be sending him the tent. Uh, he's from Lubbock, Texas. So congratulations. And once I hit uh, um, 2000, I'll be giving away a Bible Sun tent and also a TS 600 Morris will throw in. So that's when I hit 2,000 subscribers. All right, guys. Thanks for everybody for all the comments. I got more contests coming up. Uh, I just signed a contract with Morris Hydro. So by doing that, they're going to give me more free things to give away, which is great. I love Morris Hydro. I know there's a lot of haters out there. And you, when I see a hater comment, you know what I do with it? I hide from channel, delete it, and move on. You know, if you don't like a product, that's fine. But don't sit there and run it down on my page, on my channel. Uh, you can make a comment. That's all good and well. But when you start trashing it, I'm not going to listen to it. So you're gone. So I ain't got time for no who's your trolls. Fuck around, you be around. That's how I feel. So anyway, now I'm all riled up. I'm supposed to be on, you know, I'm crazy. I'm on my crazy medicine, and I'm kind of calm right now, but don't get me fired up. So anyway, and this one right here, that one could be a male also. So my tent started out with 11 plants, and I whittled down to... Two, four, six, eight. I'm down to eight now and possibly down two more here shortly because I believe this one over here could be a male. And I almost guarantee you that one's a male. All right, guys, that's it from here. You guys have a great day and happy 421. Happy growing. See you guys.